Hey Libra, this is Ascension Empress with your bonus February reading and I thank you all so much for all your support, your love, your feedback, your positive feedback <laughs> and thank you all so much for subscribing. Welcome if you are new. Look y'all, we're going to get into it. We're going to see what messages we have for you. May peace and blessings be upon everyone. I will be using the Talima because I was pulled to use it for y'all. And I'll be clarifying with the Kipper. I may clarify with the Mother Peace as well. Um, so please take what resonates with you. And thank you all again for booking with me, for all your positive feedback, your comments. Please like, share, and comment below what resonates with you if you are comfortable. And we're going to get into it and see what messages we have. For my sun, moon, and rising Libra, what messages do we have for my sun, moon, and rising Libras? Hmm, you got the three of pentacles. So some of y'all could really be focused on your creative endeavors, what you love to do right now, getting some things together in order. Um, I have been getting a lot of entrepreneurial energy, um, people starting up their businesses and really putting in the work. Um, to do what they love long term as well to provide some type of security um it's been a huge collective message for a lot of the signs um this could also be working together with others um putting together some type of event or project oh look and then you got the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles so whatever it is that you're doing i'm getting your the talk there's there's talk around what you do around what you produce very good talk i'm also getting referrals you're going to get a lot of referrals um you went from the three to the nine very fast so i was just doing um leo's reading and they got the nine of cups that came out twice which also spoke to pisces reading that happened uh, a few weeks ago and this energy around three 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 you know having the support having the community having that ancestral guidance and celebration as well so i do get that some of y'all may be getting some good news coming in about the work that you do um other good news people may be telling other people about you about how attractive you are um how i'm getting quality as well you give more um than what people pay for is what i'm getting as well so quality is not an issue and i just get that your uh your energy the law of attraction is going to be huge so let's see what messages do we have? Okay, here we go. This reading is taking over for you. So, oh, wow. Wow, Libra. This makes a lot of sense. And y'all have been having the Empress energy pop out for a while now. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. So my water bottle just, you know, did its little thing. So pay attention, y'all. Pay attention. Look, so first of all, you got the four of pentacles the judgment and the knight of wands and the six of wands like i said somebody may be speaking there may be multiple people talking about you and you know how good you are at what you do and you know how you're able to manifest this and how attractive and reliable you are as well i'm getting independent many of you are maybe doing this on your own and other people may be wanting to come in and work with you um but i get i do get that some of you are open to this you're open to certain people people um with the four of pentacles and the judgment i feel like there may have been a judgment going into the past where you realize you need to keep some things to yourself and i feel like we've had this conversation where you had to keep well, wait a minute i feel like that was your last reading as well um where you had to keep certain things to yourself um especially when it comes to finances and it's interesting how you have the four of pentacles here with the judgment you know having to be mindful um of the judgments that you make as well the financial judgment there may be a financial judgment but yeah for you to have the four of pentacles with the judgment and then you have the three of pentacles at the center of the reading i feel like some of y'all may have kept uh you may have caught it quits with another um experience another job or whatever that you were investing your time and your energy into um you probably felt like it just wasn't enough but i also get that you may be while other while other people are talking about you they don't they still don't see all that you have cooked up like you have a lot in the works is what i'm getting um and you may be announcing this soon there may be some type of launch but i just i'm, I'm loving this multiple how you just multiply that like that and some of y'all could be dealing with the virgo uh or tapping into you know a 
a team that is productive, that is efficient, that makes sense, that is truly supportive, um, especially when it comes, I'm getting lawyer and accountant as well with the four pinnacles in the judgment um, so that you can make the right judgments in going forward in working with others. Um, I do get a launch here because you got the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands as well. And this could be a lot of clientele coming in, a lot of people who are interested in what you have to offer. They're finding out. They're seeing your success. They're seeing your reviews. They're hearing about you. And they're just like, oh, let's go and see what Libra got going on. Or, you know, they're wanting to support you um, because you, there is a lot of progression here. So I'm very excited to see. Let's see. What messages do we have? going into the past what messages do we have going into the past for my libras wow y'all let's see what this is too okay okay yep 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 i love how the talima called me to use this deck today so first the first three cards again that energy around three y'all you got the three of pentacles you got the nine of pentacles you got the six of wands and you also have the empress which we talked about you know it's been very prominent and she's been popping up a lot through the right away um in y'all's readings lately i get even for like the last three months i feel like maybe i'm over exaggerated but either way y'all this is huge business energy you really tapping into your creative abilities your gifts you're sewing in everything and you're making sure that god and spirit everything is on your side you're making sure you i'm getting you do the works yeah, you're, you're working for God. And that's why this Eight of Cups is here. That makes a lot of sense now. That's why you're getting the praise and the recognition. That's why you're ve being very mindful and guarded about the decisions that you make with this Judgment card and the Four of Pentacles. And um, not being showy. And I feel like you're being blessed. You're being um, provided with all you need and even more um, because of this humility because of the time and the care that you take and the quality and your intentions because with the eight of cups here you're d choosing to find something of a deeper meaning so i feel like many of you are really about to step into this business energy like your business owner self-employed um also employing other people with the king of wands you know really knowing how to turn on that masculine and feminine energy um it's like when you step into one room, you can turn on the Empress energy. You you step into another room with the Two of Wands. You gonna turn in. I'm I'm getting you gonna turn on that King of Wands energy too, where you're very passionate and you're very action oriented, and also you know how to be receptive. You know how to. I'm also gonna. Many of you are gifted in traveling realms. Very interesting. And, you know, this King of Wands energy could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But it's interesting because I feel like this King of Wands is also that Emperor energy. Like, y'all have been getting the Empress and the Emperor popping out. So, it's interesting how he's not here, but in a way he is. Um, so, yeah, very exciting. Very exciting to see. Y'all, this is... I'm, but we're about to get nosy. We're about to see what's going on. So, okay. No. <laughs> Another chunk. Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for my Libras? What would you like my Libras to be aware of? Two of Swords. The decisions that you make. Be aware of the decisions that you make. This I'm telling you, this judgment is huge. With the major arcana here, it's like you are the empress. You have the king of wands energy. You have the victory. You have the clientele. You have the attention. And all eyes are on you, okay? All eyes are on you. At least all ears are listening out for what's going on with you and your business and what it has to offer. Um, so be aware of procrastination as well. Um, be aware of being stuck in your head. But I don't feel like that that's too much of the issue for you all. I feel like you're really focused on creating um, and manifesting your dreams and your reality as well with the Eight of Cups here. And you're really tapped in um, to a lot of Pisces energy. Pisces has been prominent in almost everybody's reading. So let's see. Look. Look, y'all. You got the chariot and the six of cups. Whatever this is that you're doing, I feel like for some of you, if you've been wanting to move, you I'm getting some of y'all have been wanting to move um, to where you can raise your children to where it's, you know, you're just emotionally sound and you're able to 
where you're not triggered, you know, you're you're in an environment where you feel emotionally safe, um, surrounded by people who are understanding, who are patient, who are forgiving. I feel like you're moving towards relationships like that because you chose to leave behind those eight cups. You know, you chose to find something of a deeper meaning um, and count your blessings, you know, to really be in the state of gratitude and be present and forgive yourself as well for whatever happened in the past, um, for whatever judgments that were made in the past. So I'm also going to be aware of being stuck on what is no longer an issue because it may come up as it may seem like that, but it's not is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and clarify with the Kipper and see what messages we have. What messages do we have? Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands, please. What messages do we have for my Libras? And someone's coming in fast. They may have found out something. They may hear it about. Look, you got the Lover's card. <laughs> So this could be someone that you were probably dealing with romantically um, and they may sense, especially with them being in and out, you know, they're wishy-washy, you know, probably thinking that you're always going to be there um, and they may be hearing about you and your success um, or, you know, how it's, I'm getting your business, whatever, whatever it is that you have going on is cooking up. I feel like it's taking off faster than some of y'all may have realized. So now this person is coming in faster than they may have realized. Like, like they're like, oh, shoot, I got to make a U-turn real quick. No, no. Go ahead and back to where you were, Knight of Wands. Um, but I feel like the main reason why this person is coming in, if you were dealing with them on a romantic level, it's only because you're getting the attention now. You're getting the attention but they it's like they are the attention seeker that's why they're always going back and forth that's why they're always in and out um but you remained it grounded you remained it you remained discreet as well is what i'm getting with your four of pentacles you took your energy your time back and you you put it to work you put it to good use and now you're moving forward and i'm also getting you're walking away from this person with the eight of cups because you know that they're not fulfilling you know i'm also getting they don't have any um they can't even hold a conversation with you on a spiritual level is what I'm getting. Their soul surface level, they're focused on the material things. So many of you are just, yeah, look, see, focus on the material things, focus on other people, you know, having options with the main female as well while you're the empress, um, which also reminds me of the mature woman in this deck. So I'm getting many of you, you like, I know I'm the empress. I don't have to prove it. Everybody else sees it. My business speaks for itself. The energy I attract speaks for itself. Um, therefore, there is no reason for you to compete. And I feel like either I've been telling you or Leo that, that the, what's the point? You don't need to compete, you know? Look, and you got the distant horizons. You know what's coming for you. And when you choose to walk away from situations and emotional attachments that may have held you back in the past or they just don't they're not fulfilling um they have no depth they have no purpose you have nothing but opportunity going forward you have i mean i'm getting like the highway is clear just for you just for you to take off and that's what a lot of people are probably talking about. Like, did you hear Le uh, Libra got a car, Libra moving, Libra, they didn't walk away, their business taking off. Did you hear that, you know, this and this and they got this going on? Like, I just get a lot of that going on. A lot of he say, she say, but it's a lot of good stuff that's being said. Um, and it may really light a fire if this person asks with the Knight of Wands, like, oh, shoot, I'm like, they getting all the attention. Let me, you know, and I feel like they're clout chasing. I really do. I feel like they're clouds chasing um, by choosing to come towards you. I don't feel like it's genuine. This is a reason why the Knight of Wands popped out versus, you know, I feel like this is your King of Wands energy. And, you know, they're running into who they should have been and energy that they should have embodied. They should have um, implemented a while ago. And it's interesting how you can be the empress and you can be the king of wands. And when you when this person comes in, I feel like you turn on that king of wands energy. You turn on that energy like, okay, you're the knight of wands, but I'm the king of wands today. 
okay i'm about my business i'm very passionate i set these boundaries and you know it's either this or that and you're taking action you're really showing others um and people who are inconsistent as well maybe they wanted to connect with you maybe they did they claim they wanted to connect with you they wanted to work with you um in business or whatever but now it's that energy around when you were starting up they didn't want to help they they didn't find it important you know they didn't really believe in you but now that you're moving forward now that it's taken off now that other people are talking now that they see your worth now that they see that other people see your worth i think i feel like that's more so what it is honestly for some people they don't even see your worth yet because their vision is so off it's so off y'all um i feel like they lack discernment i feel like they're so caught up into like i said the surface level things so it's just an energy of now everybody everybody's supporting you people that they thought you know people that they admire people that they were hopping on their bandwagon those people are supporting you and so now it's just ugh, i'm i'm just i'm disturbed by this night of wands fake energy i really am so we're gonna go ahead and see from the right away what would you like my libras to be aware of well clearly you need to be aware of that energy be aware of the fake love be aware of the clout chasing um especially you know as you are progressing and moving forward they will be back they will be back so let's see what messages do we have what messages do we have Look, y'all, there's that Leo energy. <laughs> Be aware. Be aware that somebody wants attention. Somebody wants to feel strong when they really feel like this. They may have defamed you. Again, they probably didn't believe in you while they were in and out. You know, this could be more than one person. It could be a friend. It could be whoever. And I feel like they probably tried to put your name in the mud. They really dragged your name through the mud. And you remain strong. You remain confident about what you have to offer, who you are. Again, like you don't need the external validation. And so... Look, I feel like Leo season is going to be a beautiful season for a lot of people. Um, and you're also like, who cares about the opinions? Because you don't. I feel like y'all don't even hear it. All you, This strength that you have, the strength and this courage, and you not being scared of nothing is what I'm getting. It's a lot. Yeah, a lot of people see that. They see that in you. They see that you're not scared of nothing. They, it's not that you haven't been through anything, but you do make it look easy to a lot of people. Um, and I just, I feel like that's, you've made this Ten of Swords energy, all the betrayal, all the backstabbing, all the frenemies, uh, everything that was said behind your back, all of that. You've made that into who you are. You used it. You utilized it. Like the empress that you are, you turn that, you transmuted that energy. So please be aware. Be aware that you're an alchemist. Be aware that you are the empress. Be aware that you know your worth. And they're going to come projecting. Um, they may come trying to butter you up and praising you and this and this and that. But I don't feel like you're going to be phased by it. I don't feel like you're going to be um, deceived or looking at things from rose-colored glasses. Because... I feel like some of y'all are going to remember exactly how this person made you feel. You're going to be, remain strong. You're going to remain, um, I'm also getting professional and respectful, but you're not forgetting. You're not forgetting whatsoever is what I'm getting. So let's see, what advice do you have for my Libras going forward? <laughs> Look, that's the advice that... <laughs> Go ahead, create, continue. Whatever visions that you're getting, whatever, you know, creative projects, just do keep doing it. I'm getting that you have more. Like I said, some people don't realize that you have more. Like they you're being discreet about something. You're you're definitely being discreet about something. And it's going to play a huge role. Um also be aware I'm getting children. A child or children may be an inspiration um, as you move forward. 
So pay attention to them because they are very inspiring. They also remind us not to, you know, get ourselves worked up, not to, and also to tap into our creative energy, our sacral chakra and root chakra energy as well, so that we are not consumed by this ten of swords energy. We're not blocked. Because I feel like there has been a creative block that's been removed for many of you. And that's why all of this progression is taking place. All the success, this re recognition, everybody who didn't support you or believe in you before are now coming in because they see a whole bunch of other people that they admire, that they idolize. Look, y'all. Be mindful and also be aware that someone may be coming in to get a reaction out of you. They may try to trigger you because of what was said in the past or they may be like, you know, such and such said this about you. Da, 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 da. You'll be like, okay, I'm going to just use that to sow my 10th pinnacle. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. And if there's defamation, if somebody defamed you, oh, honey, you getting paid. You're going to get paid either legally, spiritually. I get through your works, through your healing is what I'm getting. So what is the overall message for my Libras? What is the overall message for my Libras? Mm, mm, mm. Baby, what I say? What I say? There's that nine of cups for you too. First off, you got the nine of cups and the hangman. And like I said, justice in the tower okay so there's going to be a huge shake up it's going to shake their world up it's going to shake up your world in a great rate in a great way for many of you um because in the time of delay in the time of separation in the time of you feeling like things were upside down you still counted your blessings you still decided to be present to you know be grateful to take care of yourself and not react i'm also remain humble yet confident um you didn't get worked up you didn't get caught up in being arrogant um knowing that you're the empress you know and so i feel like that's why justice is here your libra energy as well and it's going to be a shake-up you know it's going to be a huge shake-up to a lot of people but your foundation is breaking down because you're about to build one that is extremely sturdy and it's the foundation of your empire that's very clear for many of you so that is your reading, you all. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. And if you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. But please take care, you all. Bye.